Hi everybody, this is Judy Parcell. I'm back in my studio again. I just came um, upstairs from my garden down below and I saw this mushroom. I don't know how it got pulled out of the ground, but it did. And I thought, well, you know, why don't we talk about mushrooms? There's so much going on. This is a potential for for uh, Zen Doodle. <laughs> Look at what? so neat and clean and wow look at that anyway let me read you the description on Wikipedia of a mushroom being that I'm not a botanist and all a mushroom or toadstool is a fleshy spore bearing fruiting body of fungus typically produced above the ground on the soil or on its food source. The standard for the name mushroom is the cultivated white button mushroom, which is this one. Hence the word mushroom is most often applied to those fungi that have a stem, what they call a stip, stippy, I guess, a cap and gills that is your gills, and more more and gilled mushrooms themselves are often called agaritics in reference to their similarity to the agariticus or their order of agarilius. <laughs> By extension, the term mushroom can also refer to either the entire fungus when in culture and the thallus uh, or the species forming the fruiting bodies called mushrooms or the species itself. There's a definition on Wikipedia. I didn't want to get into the Latin words. Anyway, um, I was kind of hoping they would talk about the role they play in nature and I found this one at the foot of uh, you know the foot of one of my trees and the the trees have an internet of their own all everything in nature has an internet of its own and all the species talk back and forth to each other and they help each other so they do play even though they're cute and you might draw them comically they do play an important role in telling you about the health in your garden. So when I see mushrooms, um, I'm really happy. That means I'm doing something right in my garden. Anyway, I thought we would draw one. And I want you to look at... See, this one's starting to over-ripen because it's starting to crack. So this is a good time to draw a mushroom. So I could draw it that way. That would be interesting. Do one that way. And uh, so I'll put it right here and I'll follow this. Let's see if I can get this all in. I don't know if I can or not. Okay. Let me draw this. It comes around like this and up in here and then there's a broken part here and then it comes around and I'm just following it and then this comes like this I don't think these are perfectly round I'll move this over this way so we can see the rest of it so you come up you go around like this and like this move it again oh yeah there's a little thing that's going in here like this and you go around and what I'm doing right now is called line drawing I'm just doing one continuous type of drawing now this doesn't have to be like I said a hundred percent so you'll notice that this mushroom has a center and then then it has 
Let's see, this I'm going to do this stem. Yeah, so we're going to, uh, there's this center that comes around, and then the stem. Now, this is harder to do than I thought. I really need to get a camera, but only when I can afford one. Then I've got this part that kind of follows that line, and then this comes up at an angle. Okay. Okay. So we can still go like this, and then we can make it all kind of ragged like that because it got pulled out of the ground. Now there is another part to it. It's kind of a like a hoodie collar or something. They didn't mention what that was, but there you go. And then off of that, you're going to draw not every gill, but you're going to draw a few gills. You know, you're just inferring that there are gills here. Uh huh. See, I'm not drawing every gill. I think I should draw this up a little bit. There's just a slight edge to this. Mm -hmm. It's kind of rough. Actually, that should go like that. All right, that's too wide, but anyway, we'll go like that. Draw some more gills out. Now, I noticed if you look right here, it's darker. So I'm going to put a few more gills in that area just to emphasize darkness. You notice I'm not shading. I'm doing this all by making the lines closer together. Now you might want to bring these out to the end. And then you go back out. You might go like that. And then you can start thinning it out again. Mm -hmm. Maybe lighter lines would work. And this one kind of goes like this, because this got bent. here so it doesn't start to go golly whompers on me. Remember when we were doing petals? We did the north, south, west. Yeah, I'll be sure that we get that done. Now right under here, this comes around, there is a big opening and then you want to go like this and like this. And what you're seeing just drawing underneath. This is uh, what you call a still life, I guess. Yeah, because it's still and it's still alive. So we could call it a still life. I'm being smarty pants here. Okay, so I'm going to get...
There's the bottom of the mushroom. Kind of looks like it. You can do a little shading there. It's a little earthy. You know. Maybe a little, little bit of shading here. You know. Let me do a little bit of shading here. Yeah. A little bit of shading. Mm -hmm. That's starting to look more like a... Okay. So I think there's another one here, another little split here. I, may, I can create one anyway. Okay. some stuff that comes up kind of like this and I just draw it in this is getting kind of old this mushroom it's on its last legs so just put a few spots in here to make it look wounded actually that came out more like that didn't it that gives me more area to work on. Let me move this up. Yeah, this came out a little bit differently. Yeah. You look at it, see? Okay. And then this is all kind of, yeah, it's all kind of like that. Yeah, you could tell it's getting damaged here. And then this kind of goes up like this. And you go. Every so often you put a darker one in. I can see that. If you're studying from real life, that's when you really see this stuff. Okay. Then it just come up a little bit like that. And there... Here's your mushroom bottom. And I would do a, probably a little bit more in here. Yeah. And then maybe a little like that. And maybe a little dirt, dirt right here. Uh -huh. Okay. Now. Here's a whole new idea. This is probably a little easier to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some grass. Okay. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this and then I'm going to go away. Can't get that to, um, Sit in there so I can draw. Sit, sit. Got to get it to behave. Okay, maybe not. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is up here, I'm going to draw maybe off the page, but um, I'm going to draw the bottom of this mushroom, and then I'm going to come up, and I'm going to go back, and see that? And in there. And then we all the way around. So this comes here. I'm just looking exactly at it. And I'm going like that. And I'm going like that. Mm-hmm. 
if I move this up, the stem is going, oh, this is just not wanting to cooperate. Okay, I'll hold it this way. Okay, coming out of there is the stem. See, that's, that's thick. Okay, that's thick there. And so is that. Okay, is the stem, because the center is here, believe it or not. And there's a cup. This comes up kind of like that. And that kind of goes like that. That's interesting. It's got a little verb of its own. And then this comes down like that. So there is your mushroom. And in looking at it, I go in and I go, oh, those spines go down like this. And then there is no spine in this, but you go in like this. And you find the center, and then you go, wee, all the way around. Kind of like a wavy something. So I go all the way around. Like when it grew, it was like spilling out on the top. Doesn't that kind of remind you of a fountain? Some sort? Yeah. So, it just kind of suggests things like that. Okay. And there is your mushroom. Now we want to shade it a little bit. It's kind of wrinkled here, but let's just shade it. You know, bring it up. And this is, ooh, this is shaded here. Uh -huh. Shading helps make it become, what do you say, three-dimensional. There we go. We'll go like that. Now I wanted to put this is in the shade. Uh huh. And this is definitely in the shade. This part. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's in the shade this way. And then, there is, it's interesting, it's the darkest in the center, and to get the roundness, it's saying, when I look at it, that it should be the darkest in the center. Okay. So, there is your mushroom, and here is the drawing that I did, and there's the bottom. You notice that didn't take me long. When you go out mushroom hunting, you need to know what you are picking because a lot of them are deadly. I don't even know if this one is deadly. I'd rather buy mine in the supermarket, thank you, to be safe. <laughs> anyway, that's my lesson today uh, from my garden. And thank you for dropping by my studio, and I will talk to you later.